Um, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Gotta go pee. And uh, we'll keep going. We've got the female predator teacher stories next. Get your wood chippers ready. Get everything ready. Because these bitches need to go. See you in a second. Peace. Oh my god, the chair! The chair turned off the video. What the fuck? I apologize. I apologize. Look, I got wrapped up in a conversation. I did not mean to. It's supposed to be quick and dirty, but it wasn't. At least Riley Gaines was on your screen, right? Like, compare body types there. Phenotypes right there. <laughs> Women. You know, Ryan, you f it wasn't. <laughs> Jay Cornman 24 says, how's a quickie? What am I, 12? It's not a quickie. Quickies don't exist at 42, guys. I don't know if you know that. Quickie. I do my taxes faster than sex these days. No, I... Look. Everything I've said tonight about dealing with the reality of uh, life, kids, marriage, and the, uh, the fucking... Societal shit that pounds into you. Pounds into you harder than Shane Diesel with Viag Viagra. Like, you have to go through life. You have to do all that shit. And you have to also do whatever else you have to do, right? All of you guys know this. I'm sitting, I'm like, I was a streamer. Everybody has it fucking hard in different ways. We all know. Streamers do it in front of uh, some mass of people. Other people have to do it while operating like uh, dangerous equipment, right? You're an oil rigger and you have to deal with some sort of family pressure issue. You have to still have a clear mind to not get your legs ripped off by an errant chain or whatever. Uh, you're, you're like one of those ice fishermen or whatever in Alaska. And you're like, Oh God, I have to go back to Alaska. Like the boat with all the physical danger is better than going back to Juno or what everybody has to deal with the realities of their own lives in their own ways. The thing that's a universal constant is that stress, anxiety, and pressure from uh, these normative things like family, like government, like uh, community, like, um, you know, your religious community, whatever it is, these little microcosms of our life, all of that's normative. Everybody deals with this in different, uh, deals with this, but it's applied to a different macro fact set. Are you a contract worker? Are you an, a W-9 employee? Are you a small business owner? Are you a large business owner? Are you unemployed? Are you uh, Matthew Harris? Who are you? Are you Riley Gaines? It's like, well, I could post a dick pic on Instagram, probably make $12 million. Or who are you? What, what's your, what's your skill set? What are your options? I don't mean to talk up streaming as the toughest business in the world. It's not. Obviously not. The hours are way better. The pay per hour is way better. That's the fucking point of being a streamer. But the pressures that are applied to that job are the same. And the challenges that come from those pressures are different and unique. doesn't mean they're bigger or smaller or worse or better. It just means that they are. Like if you work in a small business in a small town and there are various pressures applied to you, various uh, things that happen, that can spread around the small town, fuck up all of your employment opportunities and prospects forever. If you're in a big city, not so much. If you're on the internet, depending on the audience crossover, what the controversy is, can fuck you up or not. Right? Like, it's the same pressure and stress. It's just in a different scenario with a few different variables. But the outcomes aren't always different. And the realities and practicalities aren't always different. That's the point of all that. People always say, when you talk about streaming, people are always like, oh, your job's so hard. It's like, no, it's not. If it was hard, I wouldn't be doing it. Hashtag said no woman ever. If it was hard, I would not be streaming. I would just do something else that was hard, but paid more. Streaming is great. You reduce your hours. You do something you like. You add drinking or whatever you want to it. It's fun. 
it adds an element of fun that you control to a job versus a corporate environment. It's great. But it's not all honky-dory, and the fucking added challenges and pressures are things that other people don't normally deal with in the same way. It's not about expressing that it's a unique challenge. It's about saying, yeah, there, there are these weird things that you, you don't consider prior that you have to consider now. Riley Gaines never considered that an ab picture on Instagram would be taken and posted to Twitter, be like, that's a fucking dude. And people would believe it because she spoke out against trans athletes. How the fuck do you, how the fuck do you get to this conclusion? As a normative person, you won't. So anyway, um, but yeah, I was having a chat and uh, things got a little longer than expected. And that's not an erection joke. It's a reality joke. 